I'm working on a client website and I'm gonna be building it all in Framer using a template. Now I wanna show you some of the cool templates Framer has. If you go to resources and marketplace, scroll through here and search on their templates. And if you go down to browse all templates, you can see you can filter by free or paid. And I really liked this um, black orange one, this one called conversion. I think this one was really cool. I clicked on that and you can actually use it for free and actually preview it, which is super cool. I can see, um, you know, it's good for an agency, a landing page. So the client that I'm building this site for is called Dubs Media. They're actually a small agency that helps creators work with brands. So they find brand sponsorships to work with different um, creators and influencers. So, and you can see this is what the template looks like. So it already comes with a desktop, phone and tablet view, which is really cool. And if I preview it, it's already got uh, beautiful interactions and animations here, as you can see, a custom cursor. It's got a scroll through, it's got sliders, which is beautiful. just love the theme. I'm always a fan of like high contrast, um, simple, clean type, really futuristic, bold pops of color. And so I think this works really, really well. So I'm gonna be building this. Now I'll jump into Illustrator. So this is what the identity will look like. I've got the logo, Doves Media, which is really cool. And I've got the three color codes. So I'll have to import that. I've already saved out the logo in here. And I've also got a PDF of all the content. So this is what they sent me. They were working on their own little deck. So I'm going to pull all the information from here. Um, you can see like services, um, partnerships, analytics. So I'm going to be using this as a base for the... So first up, what we're going to do, I'm going to add the logo in. So I'm going to double click on the nav bar and I'm going to go to the graphic here and I'm going to press control K. That brings up my search bar so then I can search for image. And I'm just going to locate the logo real quick. I've got an SVG. I'm going to drop that in there and then I'm going to drag it inside the nav bar. I'm going to put it right in here. And I'm going to delete that logo there. And I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. So the cool thing about Framer is you can actually just drag things, make it smaller really easily. I can also go to the so the side and type in the size. So maybe I want like 150 pixels. I can drop the side, the size there, just like that. Um, make it a bit smaller. And here are all the components. So I can actually edit all these components here. So I'm going to just Control C, copy that, and drop this in this section. And I'll delete that and just make sure that it's on the left side there. And then also uh, I'm going to drag and drop it into that container there. So on mobile view, you can it's going to have that logo, which is beautiful. I'm going to click out of the component view and go back to the website. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to extract just some text here. Um, and sometimes I actually use you know, AI to generate some text just for copywriting and then I start building it out. So I'm just gonna copy and paste some text in here. I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna make it a bit smaller the text. So I'm gonna just come down here and I've got my text settings on the right hand side. For this font, we this site has Satoshi and I love Satoshi. It's really a great font. You can get it from Fontshare, which is cool. And I'm just going to decrease the size. Let's go to maybe 65, just so we can put that heading on two lines, which is cool. Go to this section and I want to get rid of this second button. I'm going to delete that. So on the left-hand side, I've got my layers panel. I can just click inside the stack. So you can see there's two buttons. It's a horizontal stack. And I've got the left button and the learn more button. I just want to click on that layout and click delete and that will get rid of that button which is really super cool so i've got book a core here um, which is a simple call to action and we've got this nice gradient now i can decrease the size and bring it up um, which i will do because i feel like it is a bit too low i think i might decrease this size as well so we'll go with maybe 160 there just to tighten up a little bit i'll bring that up and what I want to do is actually change the shadow of this button. So on the right hand side, you've got your styles. Now styles, you can style everything from, a, you can add effects, you can add overlays. So I'm going to click on the main button that we have here, primary large. And if you scroll down, if I, sorry, click on the, the component with the variant, you can see it's got shadows already on it. So if I want to increase the shadow, I can actually click on this. You can see it's got uh, just a black color, which is fine, but we actually want to um, increase the x-axis so we're going to increase the x-axis to 5 and the y to 
around six as well. I can also decrease the blur as well. So if I zoom in, you can see the the um, actual shadow there. I can also click add and add a new shadow. So we can add another one. So I'll go six and five as well. And you can see the opacity is really low. So I can bring this up a little bit, maybe 50%, uh, which I just I like having a darker um, shadow and just drop the blur a little bit. So now you can see the shadow is a bit more darker. So now if I go back to home, you can see the shadow just pops a little bit more. Um, it might be a bit too harsh, so I can always just double click, go back into it, and I think I'll just delete that extra shadow I had by clicking the little X. Now we've got the logos here. I'll say who we've who we've helped, which is cool. You can just double click and type when it comes to a template. Now, every template, you can see there's different sections. So if I click on a section, you can see on the side, we've got, uh, it says client. So this section, you can rename it. I can um, rename it um, testimonials like this. And I can also drag and move this around. So I want this section more down the bottom here. So I'm going to drag it and drop it under this section. So now if I scroll down, you can hold space bar to pan through the interface or the canvas. So if I hold space and left click, I can drag down and I can now see that this section called our clients is down the bottom here, which is where I want it. So we've got those sections. I'm going to go back up. So I'm going to go down here and change the logos. Now you can see that this tick ticker is a component and it's connected to these images here. Now what I can actually do is on the right side in this ticker component, I can click on the children. All these logos are connected to this one element and all I gotta do is see these tabs, I can left click on that and then locate the exact logo that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna select some of these logos to put there and in video there. And you can see as I'm doing that, all these logos are updating and I can click preview and you can see the logos are updated. I just have to expand the height of um, that frame there, as you can see, and should fit those logos. And I love the really cool blur effect going on there. Now, a similar thing for this testimony section, I've got three testimonials to add. So if I want to update these, I can always click on it. It will show me what it's connected to. I can click on this and I can change that. And then I want a card, I can click the avatar and I can actually choose an image. So I'll left click. And I'm just going to locate the image here, double click, and it should load super fast. Boom, there we go. We got that guy there. And then for this one as well, I'm going to add the other testimonial. And then I can change the name. So we've got those two guys, and then I have to edit the text there. So on the side, I can edit the text. And we've got that one. And then I'm just going to delete these cards here because I only want three. And now as we go back, it should be fully changed there. And here is the final result of the website. Beautiful animations, nice and smooth. Love the dark mode style and everything works really seamless and easy. Super easy to publish and it works good on mobile. So super happy with it. I think it looks amazing. Definitely check out Framer. You can use my discount code below and hope you enjoyed that. If you want to get some more web design resources, check out this video right here where I break down some great resources for you as a web designer.